coverage you can count on continues with Storm Team 10's Aaron Peters. Good Sunday evening. Let's take a look at what I'm tracking for you. As we get into tonight, we're going to have a mostly clear sky, but with that clear sky, we could see some areas of fog, and these areas of fog will continue into early tomorrow morning, so if you're going to be out and about, be mindful of that, especially on early morning commutes. But overall, tomorrow's going to be a pleasant day. We're going to see the sunshine come out again. It's going to be a little bit warmer than it was today. Today, we had a high around 40. Tomorrow, it should be around 45. And overall, over these next couple days, we will be seeing temperatures getting warmer back to what we saw them at just a couple weeks ago. So take a live look outside the Storm Team 10 Storm Tracker. We see this clear sky tonight. This will continue for a majority of tonight. But that also means we're going to have cold overnight lows dropping into the teens potentially won't be as cold as it was last night and won't be as breezy as it was earlier today, but still going to be cold. You're not going to want to go out. Look, the temperatures currently in the Wabash Valley. All of us have now dropped into the 20s. As I mentioned, as we get later on throughout tonight, we will drop into the teens. 20 in Paris, 24 in Rockville, and 27 in Solvent and Brazil. Look at the wind chills currently. Even colder than that, 11 in Paris, 29 in Alney, and 26 in Newton. Keep in mind, last night we saw wind chills get into the single digits, so it's not going to be as cold tonight. But as I mentioned, things will be getting warmer. Look at the temperature trend. Average high around 41 degrees. Today our high was around 40, so right where we should be for this time of year. And we'll get steadily warmer over these next couple days. 45 tomorrow for President's Day. Then temperatures get back into the 50s by the time we get to Tuesday. 52 on Tuesday, 60 on Wednesday, but then after that we do see temperatures start to dwindle down. 55 on Thursday, then 48 on Friday, and the reason you're seeing these temperatures drop down right, by the time we get to the end of the work week is because of precipitation chances. So to start off our work week, we will be dry Monday through Wednesday, but Thursday brings a 50% chance of precipitation, most likely in the form of rain because it's going to be so warm. That will continue into Thursday night as well, but Friday looks like it will be dry. So look at the start of our work week, the three day forecast. Tomorrow, President's Day, some of you may have the day off. It's going to be a sunny day, not as breezy as it was today, high of 45, and it just keeps getting better after that. 52 and sunny on Tuesday. Wednesday is most likely going to be the best day over these next seven days, in fact. High of 60 degrees and mostly sunny skies. Unfortunately, it won't be that warm tonight. So we have an overnight low around 19 degrees with a mostly clear sky with areas of fog. So be mindful of that as if you're going to be on the road and that will continue into early tomorrow morning. For the most part, though, tomorrow it's going to be a nice day, 45, mostly sunny. As I mentioned, not as breezy as it was today. And tomorrow night it's going to be increasing cloud coverage. So we're going to see more clouds move in. It's going to help us stay a little bit warmer tomorrow night. Overnight low around 28 degrees, the chilly west southwest breeze from 5 to 10 miles per hour. Look, seven day forecast high of 45 for your presence day and mostly sunny. Get back into the 50s on Tuesday, 52 for the high. Wednesday gets up to 60 degrees and mostly sunny. Thursday, 55, but does bring a 50% chance of precipitation.